Today we're going to be uh, working on a 2008, it's an F350 Super Duty. The problem with this vehicle is that the, uh, the heater uh, has, has four different settings, uh, the one, two, three, and then the fourth FET, uh, setting. In this particular case, it works on number three and it works on number four, but it doesn't work on one and two. So let's go inside the truck and I'm going to show you uh, what's going on with it. problem we have, and I'll show you, this is the truck here now. Okay, obviously we're going to turn the key to the on position, and I'll show you. And as you can hear, nothing. But you turn on three and four, and they work okay. I'm going to show you a real common problem with this one here, how to check it before you go ahead and replace it. Uh, down inside the glove compartment over here, there's a, uh, there's a resistor down up inside here. Um, I've run into this quite a few times already. What you do is you just open up the glove box like this and you press this side here in and you open it. And this opens up all the way down like that. And if you look back in here... Let's get a light there so you can see. Don't know if you can see in there, but I'm going to get a light so you can see. Right in there where the light is shining. You see that connector with the four pins on it, the four plugs on it? That's the resistor right there, and that's very common for that unit to go bad. There's two 5 16 screws that actually uh, hold that resistor in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to un... Oh, now you can see it better. This is it right here. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug this uh, plug right here. We're going to take out this screw and the other one in the back right back there. And then we're going to remove that resistor, and I'm going to show you uh, how to check the resistor before you uh, before you replace it. So, uh, what you're going to basically need is very simple. You're going to need a, a ratchet with a 5 16 or an 8 millimeter socket, and we're going to take those two screws out. So, uh, let me unscrew those screws, and um, then uh, we'll come right back, and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, now after we got the resistor out from back inside there, that slot back there. You have to uh, take the resistor off here. Just push this little pin right here in. It's a lock tab. I'll put you right there for a second. You push that lock tab in and just rock it back and forth and you can unplug it. All right, let's go in the, uh, in the back. I'm going to show you how to check the, uh, the resistance in between these terminals right here. Um, Let's grab the, uh, the ohm meter and uh, I'll show you how to check it real quick. Okay, this is the resistor and I just want to show you real quick. This is the schematic that actually shows you how you're supposed to check the resistance between each one of the pins. Pin 1 and 2 tells you what the ohms is. 2 and 3, 4 and 2. So you just check the resistance with, a, uh, with an ohm meter and if you're out of specs then obviously it's going to be no good. It's going to be hard for me to do holding the camera and testing it like this, but uh, let me do that real quick and uh, I'll come right back and show you. Okay, difficult to show you what, what I could do holding these pins here. It's hard to get in here with two hands and, and, and do it, but I did check the resistance. The resistance was off, so we now we have a replacement and we're going to go and put that in the car and um, everything should work uh, just as it's supposed to. So uh, let's get back over to the truck and let's uh, put this back together. Okay, now we're back inside the truck and remember how you took this out. There's only one way you can go back in. We remember this clip here was underneath the bottom of it. So we're going to put this back into that slot inside there and we're going to reconnect it with the two screws that we previously took out and um, we're going to get this job wrapped up. So, you can put it back in there. 
It's a little bit hard because you can't see what you're doing. You got to go by feel. But it just pushes back in like that. And then we're just going to put the two screws back inside there to hold it in place. You just screw them in by hand. in there but I'm not gonna bore you with watching me tighten those up I'm just gonna tighten those up and then we'll come right back okay and once you've got your screws screwed back in there and tight you can plug your plug back on and you listen for it to click and then you know you're on all the way you can hear it snap when it pops in and that's it it's all set huh okay and what we're gonna do now I just want to tell you this too is that the reason that these resistors go bad is they build up a tremendous amount of heat inside this uh, this circuit board right here. You can see it's like a printed circuit underneath this, and this sticks inside the um, the air by the blow motor so that the air the air from the uh, from the fan circulates over it and cools it down. So make sure you put it back into the spot where it belongs. Make sure the screws are tight so that way the airflow over the top of it will be sufficient to keep the new one from burning up. Now if everything look if everything is working the way it's supposed to be we should be able to turn the key to the on position now and then we should be able to come over here to the uh, to the fan I can hear it already working on low speed so all of our speeds are working just the way it's supposed to all right this actually is a very common problem um, if you just take your time, it's a little bit frustrating trying to get up inside there to get to it. But, um, you know, just take your time and you shouldn't have any problem. And, of course, obviously, once you're finished, you want to put your glove box back up. You just take this and pull this over and you snap it right in. And that's it. It's all set. All right. Any questions, any comments, any concerns you have or problems you run into, drop me a line. Let me know. Um, but just check your resistance. And uh, if your resistance is out of specs, then you want, you want to change. This is very common. All right, thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.